right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. You want to talk about just in the nick of time. I mean, Wait. come on. We just got in. I mean, oh, we Woo. just we trying to get things together. Yeah, I know we got kids. Sean Jr. has soccer practice today. We taught double dutch aerobics. You know, it's a it's a it's just what we do. Hey, how y'all doing? Yes. Um, we literally got in four minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Four minutes ago. So we run the kids we were moving and grooving. I mean, yeah. Boo Boo, you gotta talk oh, to the mic. Yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, mic check. Mic check one, two, one, two. Um so yeah, I'm glad we made it. Yeah. We made it on time. On time too. I may be black. <laughs> I may be ugly. Wait, but I'm here. Hello, Jesus. We are here. So are here. who are we? My name is Sean, and who might you be? I am his wife, Michelle Clark. And we are the owners of Double Dutch Aerobics. Double Dutch Aerobics, babe. Tell them what Double Dutch Aerobics is. So Double Dutch Aerobics is an eight-step formatted 60-minute workout class led by an instructor. We teach aerobics moves in the double dutch ropes. In the ropes? Is that possible? Of of course. Our specialty (laughs) is that we teach anybody That's a fact. how to jump double dutch in less than one minute, guaranteed. Class is always taught by an instructor, either ourselves, who are the creators of double dutch aerobics, or our certified double dutch aerobics instructors. If you want to teach double dutch, you can also... Get certified to teach Double Dutch, turn it into a business. We teach you the whole shebang. And uh, yes, that is Double Dutch Aerobics. So but look, also- l- listen, we, we got a bunch of hats. We got eight yeah. jobs. Eight jobs. <laughs> um, so we are also hosting the Jumping Juice 10,000. Yes. What is the Jumping Juice 10,000? I'm glad you asked, Sean. Yes. Thank you. Um, so the Jumping Juice 10,000 is a 10-day juice cleanse. With 10,000 people juicing at the same darn time. At the same time. And so this is our second one. We had one back in January. Yes. We got one happening right now. Oh, is this is day nine. This is day nine. If you're on day nine, let me see you type 10K. 10K. Type in 10K. If you're on day nine. Mm, that's great. And by the way, we're ending tomorrow night, y'all. Yes. Tomorrow night. So not 12, not 12 midnight. Yeah. The tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. night. All right. So um, yeah, the so that's in, yes, yeah. The jump and juice 10 is a 10-day juice cleanse where we don't eat any food Zero. whatsoever. Zero. None whatsoever. We only drink juice, fruits and vegetables through a juicer. We are very passionate about juicing. It is the reason we have children. It is the only reason why I we have children. I healed myself naturally from fibroids through juice fasting. And I did a 17-day water fast. And then I changed my options and had three kids in four years. Yep. Before that, I was told I can only get an abdominal myomectomy. I was having miscarriage. Couldn't hold a pregnancy. Mm-hmm. So juicing is very, very dear to our hearts. Sean suffered from knee issues. I suffer from allergies. I mean, juicing is just, hello. And so, okay, you finished? Every day during okay. the 10 days, we interview someone. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. You took it right out of my mouth. I'm sorry. So, no, it's okay. Yeah. 15 years together. This yeah. is what happens. Look, so uh, every uh, each of the 10 days, we interview somebody who has reversed their symptoms yeah. from diabetes to high blood pressure to, you know, prostate cancer. Yeah. Uh, people who have done 100 days of juicing, 300, 200. We heard it all. We try to get all of those people here so that you guys can see what we see because you know we always say there's a whole nother world there's a whole world world. i'm sorry i keep blocking you babe there's a whole nother world of people who are healing themselves naturally and we're just trying to bring them to you and today on today on today is can you say on today but that people say yeah and on today we have a special guest we have a special guest um we got melissa Checking in with us. Yes. She's a holistic nutritionist who healed herself from a lot of stuff. Yes. Now, listen, she was going through a lot of stuff. Now, she oh. done went through asthma, yes. acne, uh, psoriasis. Uh, what else we got? Pre, pre, pre- pre-leukemia. Leukemia, which I haven't ever heard Have of. you guys ever heard of pre-leukemia? Neither have I. That's why we have what? Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also she teaches you how to grow your beautiful hair yes, baby. Yeah. And, and guys and guys, guys. If, you, if you want to grow your hair too guys 
Well, welcome, Melissa. You look fabulous, honey. Oh, thank you. You guys always look amazing. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm so happy you said yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it's up to y'all. It's up to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So tell us, tell us your story. We okay. The first question we always ask. Yeah. And I know it's been a long time for you. Yeah. But before you switched to a like a, a high raw vegan diet, what was your diet like years ago? Or how did you grow up? How did you grow up eating? Yeah, well, I'm about to take you back to like cradle roll, okay? <laughs> By the way, I have my juice in honor of the Jumpin' Juice 10,000. Come on, um, baby! Right Come here, on. right here, y'all. I got some watercress. I got beets, apples, celery. I just put it all in there. It, it tastes <laughs> a little bitter, but I know it's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. It's good. It's good. What, what are you drinking, Michelle? Oh, I'm drinking beet juice, carrots, pineapple, and apple. Mm. And I always add lime to all my juices. But I do golden beets. It's golden mm. beets. And, and what's in, what's so in here? Did I make this? You made that one. Oh, oh this you one. have one too. Okay. Oh, yeah. This this is uh, pineapple, orange, uh, lime, and lemon. Yeah. And I think that's it. I an think apple. that's all I Oh, an apple. It's yes. so good. Honey crisp apples. We got a big way. box of apples. So we just been yeah, throwing not, them not, all Yeah, not just any apple. You yeah. got to have a honey oh, crisp apple. I love when you get those big boxes. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's, that's awesome. And I love what you guys are doing because we're going to get into it eventually because this, the juicing was a big part of my healing journey, healing my hair, my skin, the whole nine. But let me take y'all back to cradle roll. Yeah. So when I was born, I had cradle cap. And for those who are not familiar with cradle cap, it's basically a condition where you have thick, dry, scaly patches on your head. My mm. mom says mine were so bad that they stunk. They actually had a smell to them. Wow. And they would lose pus and bleed. It was so bad and embarrassing that some people wouldn't even want to hold me. Whoa. And, right. It was, it was really bad. And, and some babies get this. Um, and I was actually one of those babies. After that, I developed a severe case of psoriasis. My psoriasis was so bad, y'all, that I would have bleeding behind my ears and the pits of my arms and back of my legs. I couldn't wear skirts, um, you know, without feeling a little something, something. I remember right. sitting in class and I'll never forget it. Um, I was, my, my arm was on the desk, right? And I, it was like this guest speaker that came in. She was doing like some police presentation or something but anyway she looked at my arm and she said "Ooh," and I noticed that she was making reference to my arm and you can imagine Ooh. being in the fifth grade and Ooh. and feeling that way y'all have kids yep. and if someone did that to yes. your children how it would crush them so I was just dealing with all the feels and then so shortly after I was diagnosed with chronic asthma Okay. Uh, and so I had to wake up literally most nights with a nebulizer as my best friend next to me. And um, mm -hmm. it was just an entire saga during this time. I was severely constipated and things didn't get better soon enough. Um, during that time, Were I was you, eating. I'm Go sorry. I know that you, were, you were constipated as a kid. So you had all of these things. As oh, a yeah. Kid. I, wasn't even... I was not eliminating. And you guys know when you're not eliminating, you can't get that junk out of you. Yeah, that's right. So what happens is you start to fester up. And now the skin is the major organ. It's the biggest organ of the body. That's right. And that's where toxins release. Mm -hmm. And so I had no way of getting rid of the stuff. And I wasn't doing no jumping jacks or nothing to, you know, to, to release the stuff, even through sweat right. uh, yeah, because yeah. I had the asthma and it was kind of like exercise induced. So it was like a catch 22. Anyway, during this time, um, I was eating a standard American diet to go back to your question. And we know that I was eating, I was eating inner city school lunch. Oh, so, you know, I was, eating, yeah, I'm from Boston, by the way. Oh, um, Boston. I don't live in Boston, though, but right next to New York. Um, so I was eating and no shade on, on Boston. I love Boston. Yes, but so just to give you a context of what I was, you know, what I was eating, I was during that time I was on white bread. I was on, you know, I don't know if it was pizza or what it was, but it was just thick. Yeah, that it's thick. Great. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, right. Exactly and then like on top, you don't know if it's plastic or not. Yeah. So I was, I was exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about because you, you 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 ate it too. So I was eating that. 
I was eating, I don't know, lots, a lot of like fries and just a lot of mm -hmm. oil drenched stuff. And then the dairy options were just amazing because you had 2% milk and 1% milk in, um, milk chocolate milk, banana milk, strawberry milk. So there were lots of opportunities to be filled with dairy, which was definitely triggering a lot of my outbreaks and just keeping me under. Um, and then um, around 14 years old, I was being tested for fibromyalgia as well because I had all of these body pains and I was going from test to test and test and people just didn't know why I was in so much pain. So I was just, I was just really, I was jacked up. I, yeah. Right. Un unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's me. I don't know. So you guys continue with the questions and we'll just, no, 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 no. I was just waiting for you to finish. Can, can I, can I just go back real quick? Yeah. What is psoriasis exactly? What, what is that? Yeah. So I hear it a lot, but I don't really know exactly what it is. Okay. So it's kind of like in the same family as dermatitis, same family as eczema. Eczema. Got it. Right. Right. So basically your skin is extremely dry in very localized areas and it presents itself as dry, scaly patches. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're gray, and they will actually start to scale. Right. Uh, kind of like looking like snake skin almost. And sometimes yes, they, yes. it's really, really itchy. So you'll scratch yourself a lot and then mm -hmm. as a result bleed. So that's kind of what it is. And um, did you know that lots of people who usually have psoriasis also have asthma? Um, in my experience, I've seen right. that duo. Mm. So, so, when, so you suffer from this stuff as a child. That's what I'm saying. So like what, all of these things. So wow. what were doctors, did any doctor ever, like, did you ever hear something even as a child? Because I, I remember, like, there were times in my life when I go back to, like, I heard right. a whole doctor say, you know how you hear little yes, snips, even though you don't take it in? Right. So as a child, when you were going through that, like, did you know any vegetarians or did you know any vegans or have you, did you even, the concept of food even being a cause, did that ever come in? Did doctors ever say anything? What was your- Yeah, how did they treat yeah, it? How did what, doctors what, 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 treat it at like, that age? Yeah. You know how they treated it. I was just on pills. I was on steroid medication for my steroid skin medication. as a kid. Wow. As a kid. Yeah. Um, as a kid, actually, I do remember this guy coming to my church and he was vegan and he was talking about veganism and stuff, but I never made the connection between diet right. and, and, and health. You know, I, I just, Oh, he's, he's not eating me. Okay. That's cool. Let's right. learn how to make this recipe. But that wasn't, it wasn't until I had this interesting experience. Okay. Um, it was Thanksgiving, y'all. And you know the typical American household mm, where yes. we be making our turkey. Yes, we and do. So <laughs> my sister proceeds to slice this turkey open and mm. you'll never believe what she saw. She saw transparent, engorged, translucent, translucent, I want to say, hairy specimen. Later, we found out it was a parasite waiting, In waiting, the... waiting to be devoured. Come on, y'all. That's like a scary movie. Yes. Waiting to get in your system. <laughs> like a... Devoured by its host. And you know what? I said that day, I was like, uh-uh. Me and Turkey, we, we're not doing this. I'm becoming a vegetarian. And I went cold turkey overnight. No pun intended. But because my conviction, but because my my resolve was more out of fear, not out of yeah. conviction. Right. I went straight back to Mickey D's. I went straight right. back to the waft in the air, the General Gals chicken at the Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. I went to the buffets and I'm like, so, okay, there might be a parasite in this, but I'm just going to act like there's nothing. Go ahead. So you weren't trying to heal. You were just disgusted. I was just disgusted. Yeah. So that was my you, little bout with vegetarianism. You know that I had a kind of a similar situation so the year before, it might have been a year year or two before we actually became vegan, yeah. Michelle and I, we were cooking Thanksgiving dinner. We were cooking, yeah. We so, were cooking. so we were we were seasoning, and this is this this might not sound like a big deal. Yeah. 
the turkey is in the sink. And we're like seasoning. I think we were like seasoning the, the we turkey. Seasoning we were seasoning the turkey. And all of a sudden, it didn't look like food. It looked like a dead turkey in the sink. <laughs> and I literally, I, like... I screamed and ran out the kitchen. I was like, that is so gross. Are we going to eat this? Because you start, it starts looking it like It starts looking like an animal. It's seasoning this dead animal in the sink. I said, this is gross. And we weren't even vegan yet. And turkeys really look like, like when you, it's the whole and it's know. and it's heavy too. It's you whipping it over and pulling out the <laughs> disgusted. So I always I always knew I had it in me to become vegan. Yeah. And one, I, I didn't know it was gonna happen so shortly after. And just one more thing, yes. my little cousin actually passed away from cancer at 14. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I saw this saying on my best friend's refrigerator that I said, if you're 75% alkaline, 25% acidic, cancer can't grow. Mm -hmm. And so when my cousin was sick, I kept thinking. Oh my God, we could have done something like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. And so I went vegetarian right after that. Yeah. Except I didn't know what I was doing. So I went straight, I became a carbitarian. <laughs> I was literally eating uh, the veggie burgers from places. I was eating, you know, pasta. I was eating French fries. Yeah. I was eating um well, I was a vegetarian who ate eggs. So I was eating egg salad sandwiches. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Eat meat, but then I realized that's not really alkaline. Right. right. <laughs> and I wasn't doing it. We're, so, really similar. Similar. We're yeah. so similar. I think yeah. that's a, I think that is a logical step that a lot of people take. They're like, okay, I'm not doing any meat. Uh where's the pizza? Right. Or you know what I mean? Or oh, where's the bread? Or yeah. and, and 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 if you don't know, then you go to what you do know. It's yeah. almost like the standard American diet without right. meat. Without meat. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. But no, go ahead, because I just want to let people know that it's a process. Yeah. So sometimes even if you go through that first, that's okay, because eventually, you know, you continue on, especially if your intentions are, yes. are you know, you have good intentions. Right, so. yeah. Even if you start off wrong. Yes. Start yes. off doing the start right off. thing. You start, know what I mean? Right, right. Start off. Yeah. Right, right. Start someplace. Yeah. Yeah, start somewhere. Start someplace. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can finish. No, you're good. I love this. We're vibing. I, <laughs> you know, I, it's funny because, um, after that experience with the Turkey and going vegetarian, I, um, several years later, shortly after I ended up going to, to college <clears throat> and I remember sitting in class, uh, during a health principles class and he's like, we're going to, you know, watch a documentary about, uh, animals and what happens before they're slaughtered. And I remember sitting down and watching it. And when I saw that thing, I was scarred. Right. I, I was like, how can I eat animals? Oh, like nice. the trauma they go through. You I know. Mean, go ahead. You know, we, 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 we were actually thinking about showing our children those, those videos. Our kids are vegan. Our kids are vegan. But I guess it's not really necessary now because they're already in it. But sometimes yes. I'm like, yes. I feel like we should show them just when they were questioning it. When, yeah. when they were questioning yeah. it, we were like, we show them yeah. it's kind of brutal, but it's honest. It's yeah. it's what's happening. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can do it in a way, you know, there are more child friendly, you know, I believe mm -hmm. documentaries out there. You know, your parent, you you guys are parents, you know what's yeah. best for your children, and you yeah. know what your type of child can handle as well. And handle, that's right. You know, um, and so I watched that and I was like, okay, I'm going vegan. I'm gonna be a vegan vegan. But I did the carb thing just like you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. I just binged on every processed food you could name. Right. And baby, when I was done with that, I was like real sick i put on a lot of weight that's what i was gonna say yeah i got a i got cystic acne and cystic acne is the worst type of acne you can have and if you can if you if you saw any of my videos or anyone who's watching they see mm -hmm. any of my videos like my face now compared and it's not perfect but compared to what it was then literally no lie i had dime size pimples that were pus filled and bleeding when I would just talk to people. Like I would feel it like get red. People would just say acne, know what I'm talking about. And you would just be like, oh, you know, just you want to like cover yourself. Shortly after that, my all my hair broke off, so I couldn't cover it. Um, <clears throat> I was just really sick. All the processed food, but you know, God always has a plan. 
Come on. Because looking back, I can see all of the lows. But I did not know that this would be the catalyst for a chance to share a testimony that would encourage others to get their life together and know and, and help them know that they can heal. You know, and so I was going through it, but I, I still praise God because it was really in my weakness. His strength was made perfect because I remember being in grad school and not being able to wake up. Like I have you ever got like ever felt like shot, like really, really sick. Like you can hardly get out of bed, mm -hmm. feeling weird, tingly feelings, brain fog. And I knew I had to call um, the doctor during that time. I was planning a wedding to my my now beautiful husband who helps oh, congratulations me. yes thank you so much well it was a long time ago I I know. Know. <laughs> i'll take the congratulations no, no you were in the moment yeah, so it, was yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. it was happening as you, you were talking saw, you saw it on my face <laughs> I you love that man so much. Man. i love that man so much <laughs> he's amazing we're we're a team you don't see him but uh, we're definitely a team he's behind uh, everything you see and good um, we, I was planning a wedding and uh -huh. I was in grad school. And on top of that, I was working full time. I was trying to finish my master's. It was just mm -hmm. a lot. Trying to uh, figure out where I was going to live and all this stuff. And after getting my test results back from the doctor, he says, we have found leukemia like indicators in your blood. When I heard the word Please. leukemia, I said, I don't know. I had two, I had one of two uh, options. Number one, pick up the phone call and do something about my health before something happened to me. Right. Or number two, act like I didn't hear anything and just peace. Right. <laughs> my life. Right. The Lord is good because I picked number one. I said, I don't want to die. I feel like death and I know that it's only going to get worse if I don't do something about this. And right. so I went in and I did research. I was like, how do I heal my body? That's and right. That's when I came across a whole food plant-based lifestyle. That's when I came across juicing. That's when I came across, um, you know, a high rod diet. And I've just been riding that way since. And one thing after next began to heal. My skin started clearing up. My hair started growing like Rapunzel, which is a whole different story. We could talk wow. about that. Um, my, my attitude changed. So many beautiful blessings. Um, I was able to get pregnant and have three children after wow. such, such a beautiful testimony of what God's food could do for your body. So Ooh, here food. I am teaching others. <clears throat> Yes. So, so what was your first, did you go to YouTube? Did you go to, but like, what was your, what was your research like? And what, yeah, what were your sources of resource? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I started with, um, Campbell's, um, I believe that's, he, he is the author. I've, I've just read so many, but, um, the China study, um, at that, it's the China study where he shows the different um, types of cancer and whatnot connected to diet um, in his research. And I saw, like, I was like, whoa, diet has a part to play right. with, with whether you're healthy or not. And, and did you see that online? Like, did you look online and say, what? Well, gifted me the book. Oh. So, you know, God has a way. God has, God works in mysterious ways. And then after that book, I remember um, just going online and looking for different recipes and then starting to try out different recipes. Mind you, I was vegan. So I wasn't completely aloof to this lifestyle. Right, right, I, right, right, right. But I didn't know the power of plants and juicing. Honey child, I juiced my behind off. Like I juiced and juiced and juiced. I did something about 10 days. And then thereafter, every week, every week, every week, I kept having juices. Like I would eat my high, high raw meals and my whole food plant-based meals, but I made sure I had a juice with me. Wow. And so, so after you, a while, yeah, go ahead. So you, juice, so you would incorporate juice every day, juicing every single day. Almost every day. Okay, good. Yeah. And, and and after a while, when you're getting, because some people are like, oh man, I can't do, 
I can't do the fasting. I don't think I can do. Well, okay. Maybe, maybe it's not it for you right now, but still make the juice and you can, right, have it in right. a, and you can have it in addition, or maybe you take one meal out of the day and yes. you replace it with juice and you just live that way. And it, it, it's, it's going to make you feel better. It's going to make so you feel better. How long did it, like, how long did it take you to, to heal from all of this stuff? Yes. Or yes. like from, so from like the time you found out about it to the time you actually felt like, you know, you were 100%, like what, what was that time frame? Let me tell you something in about three months or so after receiving that news, I did some more blood work. And there were no more leukemia-like indicators. In three months. In three months. Yeah, in about three months. And it goes to show you. Yes. Go ahead. Sometimes we underestimate the power. Listen, if you're doing a 60-day juice cleanse and you're dealing with something 60 days later, you walk into that office and you get your blood work done, you're not going to look like 60 days before. I say, I say that all the time. I say that all the time. Who you are before you start the cleanse? Yeah, you're gonna be a totally, totally different, different person. Oh yeah, inside and out. Oh yeah. And during that time, I I didn't tell you guys this, but I was doing a lot of like herbal teas, and I was doing enemas. Um, I, I just went all in. I'm like, whatever works. I'm try this. I'm try this. Right. Yeah. Um, I was just cleaning, cleaning out, and then my body, my body just started to respond to that by the grace of God. Um, yes. And let's see, from my hair, um, my hair was like chin length. And literally during that time, it broke. I couldn't do a ponytail. Um, and then that was hard for me because I would use my hair to cover my cheeks with the cystic acne. Right. So, but God is so faithful because I remember I was just doing the thing, doing the thing. And sometimes you don't even realize the healing that's taking place but people can see. Because right. I can see, I can see y'all are glowing right now. Oh. You may not see it, but y'all are glowing. And I remember one of my friends coming up to me and she was like, oh, your hair is growing. And I'm like, my hair is growing. And I took a picture. I was like, oh, I guess I I I like an inch of growth. I'm like, I have my hair this month. And then I'm like, oh no, it's longer than I thought. And it just, it continued, it continued, and it continued. Um, so that was about three months for the blood work, six months to see the hair. And shortly after, I noticed that my cystic acne flare-ups were not as ferocious. Around that time of the month, I would get something. Um, right. But it wasn't it wasn't like a complete breakout. And I no longer had to do any type of steroid med topical medication or anything like mm -hmm. It was just such a blessing. Like right now, like I, I have something on my lips and stuff, but like I don't even have to, I don't even have to wear like makeup anymore to feel comfortable you right, know, right. in my own skin. Um, you can, you should always feel comfortable in your own skin, but with the social mm -hmm. pressure, sometimes you feel like you need to be, you need to look flawless. That's right. Um, but I'm, I'm just thankful that I was able to get over that hump. Now, do you still have asthma? Cause somebody right now, literally on the live right now yeah. as asthma. Yeah. So do you, are you still suffering from asthma or did you grow out of it or did, or did the food or change did, or, that or did you? the food change that food? Let and me encourage that person right now. I no longer have asthma. Period. Period. Point blank. Shortly after transitioning to this lifestyle, I got rid of my asthma. I got rid of my cystic acne, my pre-leukemia, um indicators gone gone um what else i was borderline uh borderline anemic my iron levels went up um i got rid of unnecessary weight my hair started growing back what am i trying to tell you mm. give plants a try period do it mm -hmm. What's the emergency? All right, our child's is an emergency. That's all right. I, I told my kids too. I was like, yeah. you only like two year old said interrupt if there's an emergency. Yeah, so the it's an emergency. I understand. It's an emergency, Maverick. Oh. I need to find a remote. Guys, go go back in the no, room, go please. Go back in the room. 
This is real life, y'all. Nah, this 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 is. Sorry about that. Oh, he got it. He oh, got, got it. it. Thank you, Booby. Thanks, the, son. the oldest child. He Thank took you. care of it. So the seven year old. So my question is: so as women, sometimes our um, menstrual changes a lot during those phases of our lives. Was your menstrual cycle changed during this process in any way? Yes, I. I stopped getting cramps. Well, you know, you know the, okay. that that time of the month is coming, but right. the cramps I would get, like I would shake in my bed. It, they hurt so much. Like I could hardly like lay down. Mm -hmm. that, that was like in college. And then like after this, like I get it, my my cycle, I don't even feel it. Like mm -hmm. I don't feel it. It's just like, okay, it's there. A eh, little nuisance, but it's not like I'm popping pills or Motrin or anything like yeah. that. Because we always say as women, um, there is, there's even a book called The Fifth Vital Sign. And our menstrual tells us also when our, when our body is sick. So it's also an indicator of hormonal imbalance. Mm. And we've just been taught not to listen. We've literally just been taught specifically to take a Motrin. It's a part of being a girl. Yeah. Yes. And one of my sayings is just like a woman, who's, uh, a woman who suffers as a teenager with a painful period is then a woman who suffers from infertility, is then a woman who gets an early hysterectomy. It's just like, we have to pay attention to our bodies. And as women, that's the indicator. It's a sign, you know what I mean? But also it's a sign when we're healing. So when we're on the healing path, when we start eating God's food, then our God menstrual, did. hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> then I'm sorry. our menstrual also starts to get better, usually along with our healing. And a quote that I, um, and you could go either this way, no, but yeah. a, a quote that always stands out in my head that I learned during this is that um, only God can make food. Mm. Everything else is mm -hmm. a product, a drug. Wow. Only oh, God can make it. food. That's it's a true. good word. That's it. I was like, oh my God. Only That's it. Only everything else, it's not food. It's just something, you could put it in your body. Yes. It could, you know what I mean? Yes. We could falsify it as food. But only God can only make food. God. How long? How long have you been vegan? Because that's that's the that's your lifestyle now. Is it vegan or high raw? Yeah, vegan high raw. Vegan high raw. <laughs> uh, lots of juices. How long have I been? I've been on this journey, on this journey for about twenty years. Twenty. I've been years. on this journey for about twenty years. Yes. Um, and then. From that experience where, you know, that cancer scare, it's been about 10 plus years. So things have continued to improve year by year. I do have my relapses in that I'm a mother running a business, Come on. homeschooling. Oh, you, know. you got us on that one. <laughs> you got us on that one. We were like, whoa. We were like, yes, <laughs> whoa. Show me. But that's, that's what we want to do, though. We, 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 we were thinking do, about yeah, it. We're thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, we're thinking about hey, it. Hey, you know, there's seasons. There's seasons. Sometimes God may call you to do it. Like, every family's different. Every family's different. You know, mm -hmm. God may call you to do it. God may not call you to do it for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. You just got to be in tune. He'll show you. Yeah. Um, but it. there have been times when I have, and I'm just going to be honest, I have skipped meals. So I'm like, it's okay. Like the kids got to eat, but I got to get to this appointment. And little by little, you realize you're starting to feel really fatigued because you're not nourishing your body. And right. when you do that, you start to feel really bad. And then during those seasons, you might notice you get a little bit sick more often. Mm -hmm. Or when you're just running and running and running and running and you're not stopping. What are you telling? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no. So that's, that, that's yeah. something that I think I can improve on and I'm working on. Um, and so everyone has their nemesis. Every, every, everyone has their thing. Um, but in terms of making the commitment to eat as best as I can, God has helped me. And I believe he can help anyone. I think the key yeah. to it is being willing to say yes. Yeah. Right. That's that's you right. know, being willing to say yes. You know, not saying yes and saying it's going to be perfect, but saying yes and saying, you know what? I'm going to do this because I don't want any chains holding me back mm -hmm. from accomplishing my God given purpose. Right. Yes. I yes. want to be in total alignment with the will of God. Yeah. 
And if this is the path of obedience you have me on, then God, I know it's for my good. Period. It may not feel good. It may not taste good. There are times when like, for example, I'm not going to lie. This doesn't taste like peaches and cream, but <laughs> In my mind, it's good, y'all, because I know I'm like, yeah, for right, you. Right, right. like I'm like, my cells are happy right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The hair. You know what I mean? You, 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 you learn to love. You learn to love it, and um, that's that's kind of like the journey. What does a relapse look look like for you? So, is, is a relapse is a relapse <laughs> chicken? Is a relapse some steak? Oh no, no, I have not. Exact same thing. Go ahead. I'm no, it's go. not. It's not non plant based food. Like I've, 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 I have not touched. I have not touched um, meat or cheese in about twenty years. Now that's the truth. Wow. Okay, well, let's say seventeen, eighteen. Okay, um, around that. <laughs> Yes. Um, a relapse for me is knowing that I should be eating more. Right. And yes. I'm not. Because I'm tired to make something. But I'll make sure that the kids have something. You see mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's yes. how I like yes. No, 100%. You know no, what I'm I'm about? Exactly what you say. Okay. So, you know, I'm, I'm telling the truth. And then, like, <laughs> a, re a relapse can also mean, hmm. This thing may have a lot of oil in it, but I'm going to act like, you know, it's going to be okay. And then you start to feel really yucky, like, ugh, yep. how did I do that? Yep. Yeah. Yes. But that's that's basically like a relapse. Um, but, you know, thankfully, that doesn't happen often. And it's usually during times when I'm, like, really sleepy. I'm crammed, I'm crammed with time because I'm, like, right. running really fast. So you have to also learn how to add margin, how to add boundaries, and how to say yes to you. How to say my platform's name is choosing my health. Like, choosing your health every day. Yeah. So do your, in terms of social events or even how your... Um, children eat are your children uh on a regular i guess what, standard, american. standard american diet are they on a vegan diet or yeah how do you function around your family in terms of socially right your, your husband as well yeah yeah my husband, we are all plant-based oh good we all, have, we all have the same we all have the same um diet and that's amazing because when I got met, when when we when I got together with Jason, Jason is my husband. Um, hey Jason! Hey Jason! I I, I'm sure he's probably like around. The, I know he's trying to listen and also tag team with the kids. So, yeah. um, <laughs> so hey Jason! I love, <laughs> I love it. But he's so cool. I wish you guys could be here. Oh, he hear him? He said, "I hear you." <laughs> <laughs> what up, Jay? <laughs> You heard him? Yeah, man. He said, that? hey, hey. <laughs> See, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> you know, he was like, not, he wasn't vegan when I met him. And I was like, my love for him is greater than my love for his plate choice. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. But some people yeah. like, they're like, oh, no, I'm not doing it. It's an Albany. Oh, no. He got to be vegan. But in my in my book, I'm like, no, I mean, he's an amazing guy. And he's also the type of person where you show him the research and he'll consider. So wait, that's the way wait, that is one. You know, some people ask me, how did you get Sean? I didn't get Sean to do anything. No. Literally, we we I so we was watching a doc. I watched a documentary first and I thought if he comes home and I tell him I want to try veganism, he's going he's gonna to be like, Michelle, what? So I was like, babe, you want to watch this documentary? Ah, it must be a guy thing. Come to the conclusion himself. I can't like put it yes. on him. And after the documentary, he turns to me. I was like, like, we're going to be here. We're doing this. Oh, 30 days. Wow. We're doing 30 days. But I knew if I gave him what I saw and I had the reaction, I knew that I knew that the information would affect him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The same way. But yeah. I couldn't have been like no. him open the door. Plus, and I'm like, hey, plus, we're going vegan. I, I think plus I had it in me because of the, the, the turkey incident. Yeah. A couple of the, you know, <laughs> a, year, a year before I was like, oh, maybe I'm never going to forget y'all story. I'm never going to forget y'all. Every time I think about my turkey story, I'm going to think about <laughs> the time y'all looked and they were like, this is a dead. And ran, <laughs> and, and ran like out the kitchen. I but, ran out the kitchen. And I think when people, and this is for, this is for you guys when you're trying to 
help your family because we even did this with our families. Yeah. It's really hard. Like my my family has watched me eat rotisserie chicken, break it open, eat sausages. So me coming to tell them, hey, you need to just let go of all the meat when they know me. You know what I'm saying? They know me as loving my beef sausages. It's kind of hard sometimes. Yeah, they're like, but you were just eating this yesterday. Like what? I know, like right. what? And so to me, you give people the information and you let them come to their conclusion. Even my parents I tried to get them to go Free. vegan. We had them mm -hmm. watch the documentary. Right. And then we had, I forgot the sports one, but my dad, I knew the sports one would affect him. My, my father passed away in 21. But oh, I knew, God. I knew the, um, thank you. I knew the, 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 the sports documentary we'll get him. would affect him the mm -hmm. most. After that, he was like, oh, I'm going, I could have tell, I could tell him a million zillion times but but also but also doing it yourself yes like you being the example yes so once you start you, you know what i'm saying like once you start doing it and they see they start seeing changes in you they then they go oh well what you what are you doing over there it's like, yeah, you know I what i'm saying watch you be vegan see what's going on and not be affected in any way yeah you know what I'm yes <laughs> yes you have to be that makes sense yeah but i'm, I'm sorry so yes you he wasn't vegan when you met him yes um yes same very same type of situation in fact we were you know we were having lunch together all the time dinner together all the time so i was like i'm about to whip up some vegan mac and cheese i'm about to do some like fake fish i'm yeah. about to you know and i'm not gonna tell him it's vegan like yeah. oh, right. vegan, you know and after a while he was talking to someone and he's like yeah i'm vegan and i'm like <laughs> i almost fell out the chair. I don't think that's the <laughs> what did this happen? Like, and he's like, well, you know, I've been eating and I haven't been like missing the food, you know, the other food. And this is good. So I'm all right. And I'm like, wow. And it's just been, I mean, except that one time he went back home and he's like, and he's like, that that's going to happen. He's like, listen, they're about to put some, you know, chicken on the grill and like, I'm going to eat it just this once. And I was like, okay, fine. Because I knew what had happened. I knew his taste buds had changed by this. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. And then I, he's done. And I went up to him and I was like, so how was that chicken? And he's like. <laughs> he got upset because he knew it didn't taste the same. Uh -huh. yeah. so um, it just didn't taste the same. But anyway, um, he's continued. And we have this lifestyle at home. Our kids are are vegan, uh, slash plant based, and we we do a lot of raw in the house. Um, they're typical kids, you know. They like sweet stuff, so we try to make it palatable palatable for them. One thing. How, we, old, how, how old are your kids? Yes, so I have a seven year old, oh, just like, like you guys. I have a two year old. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. oh for real? That's awesome. That's five and two. <laughs> oh, so two seven. And nine. Nine. Okay. Yes. 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 How old are your children? Well, two and seven. Seven, seven five, five, and two. two. Oh, that's amazing. That's have you had, ever had any problems with your children as far as like staying vegan? Like, did they ever try try to eat stuff in school? Oh, well, you homeschool them. Well, I do, but like, we're not at home all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do like classes out and stuff. And oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. Um, whether it's sports or gymnast, you know, gymnastics or church or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It does get sad sometimes. I'm I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes uh -huh. they're stronger, you know, than other times. Like this one time I remember like the church was having an event and they were all having ice cream. Uh it was all the kids, they were having ice cream, and someone was very sweet in buying some vegan ice cream for them, but that particular vegan ice cream was like main ingredient with sugar. And my daughter, her genes are very similar to mine. When we give her any type of sugar, she breaks out very badly. Uh, same oh. type of situation that I used to deal with when I was younger. So oh, I wow. know. So, yes, uh, the genes are very strong. So, I mean, if she doesn't have the sugar and the heavy oils and stuff like that, she's okay. But you give it to her a little bit and it's just God's way of saying, don't go back down this path. Um, because you know what happened to you. Right. So I, I thank God for it. Um, and you know, and they'll be like, Oh, I really wish I could. And I'm like, you guys are like Daniel in the King's palace. 
you know, I, you know, you have resolved in your heart not to eat the king's delicacies. And I understand that it's hard, it um, but let's, yeah. let's give you, and I always give them an alternative. Like we're going to have this type of ice cream. So they're never <laughs> deprived. It's just, right. like, they're not always getting what every other kid is getting. And many times they are, but, right. um, and because, you know, a lot of their friends are good like that. They're like, they know that they have this type of, you know, diet and stuff. Yeah, um, that's how, yeah, that's how kids are. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But so it's, it's not as bad as I think the average person would think. Um, uh -huh. Sometimes they don't even, most times they don't even want it. They're like, that doesn't even look good. Like, I yeah. want my, I want what, what I like, you know. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. 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 And it's different ways of talking to your children, as uh, some people may know this, but my um, our son at one point, you know, and I understand it because at school, he's he's always has to go against the grain. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We were in the supermarket and he was like, you know, I don't want to be vegan, you know, anymore. Mm -hmm. what, what is mm -hmm. you want in the supermarket? I mean, you got to buy it, but get whatever you want in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. But then when we got home, what I told him was, you know, for us specifically, we had to. I told him, you made us vegan. Before mm. you came here, we were eating pork chops. We God had to clear our lives to have you. Wow. So, 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 we had to clean up, you know what I'm saying, mm. our diets. And I was like, you made us vegan. We didn't make you vegan. So, and when I put it on him, it's just like you made um, us vegan. You made your sister vegan. Mm -hmm. you, made, you made, you're the reason this whole family is vegan because God had to make us clear our lives. We had to become vegan mm -hmm. to be able to have you. And the pride, you know what I'm saying? That was on his back mm -hmm. after that. It's like he hasn't questioned it because it's like, no, this is all you, brother. You mm -hmm. did this to us. Look, this is your fault. This, this is, is your fault. We was, I was, the, you know, I was, I thought I was okay. You did it. It's all your fault. <laughs> now, but, it could, it could have gone another yeah, way, actually. And that's why I also, <laughs> even when I, I, I also help some women who are trying to heal fibroids to have children, and what I tell them is, you know, people always say they'll do anything for their children, but what mm -hmm. if the anything is before? Mm -hmm. So for me, the anything was before I had to wow. clear my life. I had to do a water fast, drink water for 17 days. Mm -hmm. And it sounds hard. But when I look at my kids, it's like, what? What I drink water for my kids for 17 days? 100%. Wow. No, absolutely no question. <laughs> wow. you, know, you know what I'm saying? So wow. just sometimes wow. anything wow. is before. You might have wow. to do that to prepare your life for your children. You, you know, know I mean? so that reminds me of a quote I read today about like, you're okay. It was saying it was something about like you're a father and you say that you would die for your children any day. But what about living for your children? Mm -hmm. Living every day. Yes. And mm -hmm. you only have to die once, <laughs> but you could live every day for your yeah. kids. Yep. What does living for your children look like? Bam, yes. Right there. There it is. You just said. That's what but you just like. did. It's yeah. amazing. And, people, and even even a lot of people sometimes ask, like, you know, why do you make your kids vegan? Especially we grew up, we were fine. But I think just like in your story, we weren't. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And yes. when you know so much, you can't. Like, would it be easier to send our kids to school just to send them to school? Without cooking without lunch every day, breakfast, all of their food. every single day. You know how much easier that is? It'd be that so much easier. Wow. wow. But you know too much. You know too much. You just you can't. can't. You can't. You can't. Knowing what I went through and then subjecting my children to that, you yeah. couldn't. I, I can't. Now, I, if I didn't know, that's a different story. That's a different story. But I know. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's kind of like, I feel like Jesus is like, it's like when you don't, you live up to the light that you know. There are certain things you don't know, but when you know, especially on your Christian walk, like when you know, there's like no other option. There's no other option. There's no other, there's option. No other option. There's no other option. It's hard. So, of course, we have to ask. And then, guys, if you have questions, you can start writing them now. What is your what does a day look like in your diet? Like what is a day? Yeah. What does a day of eating look like for you? Oh, yeah. That's a fun question. So I wake up. And I have about 32 ounces of warm water. It could be water with some mineral drops most times. Um, and the mineral drops just make the water taste a little better. But more importantly, they, they kind of uh, supercharge the water. So mm -hmm. I do that. I may do lemon water. 
uh, with the warm water. Um, I may even um, have some type of herbal tea with it. Maybe it's chamomile, maybe it's lemongrass, maybe it's mm -hmm. lemon balm. We also have a garden. Um, so I like to take advantage of that. Yeah. And nice. then after the water, and the what do you put in your tea? Do you put sugar or, or I wouldn't think so, but do you put honey? What do you put in your tea? With sweetener? Yeah, I don't really do sweetener in my tea. Um, my family um may do honey. Now I know it's that's kind of controversial in the vegan community. Mm -hmm. And I I say to myself, like, I would if someone were to ask me what my diet is like, I'd say whole food plant based. Yes, for lack of better terms, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll say vegan. Mm -hmm. Um, some people don't do honey. I that's totally up to you. Um, mm -hmm. I do find that honey can have medicinal properties to it. Yep. Um, and so I'm I'm not averse to it, but I totally respect people in the vegan community who do not. And that's total. I just say, do you do yeah, whatever you right? Do, right? Um, yeah, we have honey in here. Yeah. We yeah. have manuka, manuka, manuka honey, honey yeah. right okay. in here. Yeah. yeah, and there are some amazing. I just had some honey. I had a honey mask on my face this morning. So, um, <laughs> you know, with some something else that I had, I'm always experimenting. <laughs> but, but yes, they might, they might, they might have honey in their tea. Um, or, you know, there are a bunch of, but my main sweetener is dates, though I don't put that in my tea. Mm -hmm. But I just, I make sure I have my liquids to kind of prime the pump and make sure I'm going to the bathroom well. It kind of opens things up for me. And I like to get my, I like to get my water in the morning because later on in the day, it's harder to consume it. You guys probably understand that. So after that, I'll do, I'll make sure I have my raw. So I'll have, if it's, if it's a, a vegetable juice, a fresh um, squeezed vegetable juice, if it's not a vegetable juice, it's definitely a smoothie. And in that smoothie, I will power pack it with a bunch of greens, with collard greens, maybe some watercress. I'll put in an apple. I'll put in a guava. I'll put in some hemp seeds. I'll put in some chia seeds. I'm getting that protein in there. Maybe some nuts. And I'll blend that up with some water, maybe some lemon, and I'm good to go. And make sure it is very, very dense. Um, I might even put an avocado in there sometimes, um, a banana, and I'll make a smoothie bowl. And I'll top it with a bunch of coconut flakes and maybe more hemp seeds. And I just I just have fun with my food, right? Mm -hmm. um, other days, I may have some oatmeal in addition to the something raw that I did, um, which is very satisfying and comforting. Sometimes it will be buckwheat groats that I'll cook just like oats. Um, sometimes I'll do something where I take an apple, several apples, and I'll put it in the fruit processor with some dates, cinnamon, coconut flakes, a little bit of almond flour and um, a little dash of lime. And then I'll like spin it in the, in the food processor and I'll have it. Um, I'll have it with um, some lemon zest on top and it's really, really yummy. Um, you could even put some milk on it if you wanted to eat it more like a cereal. Mm. So that's kind of like a little bit of my morning. And then for lunch, um, I'm a rice and beans girl. I love my beans. And um, like I'll That's probably do, yeah, yeah. I'm like, and I'm beans are beans. I have about ten different types yeah. of beans on on the counter. Okay, so I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. Oh please, all day. I was so excited because my my husband went out today and he brought me back some red lentils. That's what I have. Yeah. I got that. Got that. <laughs> I feel like you can't go wrong with red lentils. Like it always tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Because yes. you can see them in any way you want. Any way. Yes, yeah. any way you want. And I love mm -hmm. making a big, like, big old red lentil soup. That's um, what I do. And I'll just put in all my stuff. Like, I'll put in yuca. Like, uh, yeah, I'll put in yuca. I'll put in batata, you know, the 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 sweet potato. Uh -huh. I'll put in, maybe put in some plants in there. Um, I come from a Caribbean background. So I just, I infuse it with all the flavor that I can. And then... Um, sometimes I might have like a sweet potato with some chili on top. Then I'll make some mm -hmm. mozzarella cheese. Then I'll cut up some cilantro, some fresh onion, some tomato, 
um, and really go in and enjoy it to the max. Yeah. Dairy cheese, guys. I saw Wait, you make a mozzarella you cheese said, with cashews. Yeah. How, yes. How you, I, I want to stop you. How do you make a mozzarella cheese? Oh, you gotta watch the video. Oh, yeah. still, oh okay. <laughs> bet, bet. I'm watching the videos. I want to. <laughs> you said uh, your base is with cashews. You yes, it's, it's. I'll tell you, and you can still watch it, but it's it's cashews, tapioca starch. Tapioca starch. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Some water, some salt, and some lemon. And that's it. That's it. Blend it up and cook that thing on low to medium heat for a couple of minutes. And next thing you know, you get this gooby glob of mozzarella cheese. You can top it in your, you can put it in your lasagna. You can put it on top of your, oh. your, your sweet potatoes. You can, one of my favorite is actually making like a caprice salad type of deal. And what sometimes, that was, uh, that's when, I did favorite. Eat, when I did eat cheese, that was my every, every restaurant menu, every restaurant we they, went to that's if they it had it on the menu i was getting it it did, well, didn't good. Matter. now you have something you could look forward to and make it's so so simple and oh, yeah. yeah so so that and then you know for dinner i might make some hummus and have it with some some nice. veggies. I might have a loaded salad. I might have a quinoa salad. Oh, that's um, me. What I try yeah. to do is flank my days with raw and inside I'll have something cooked or at least for sure have something raw at every single meal. Got it. I got it. Good. Yes. That was good. That was excellent. Thank okay, you. Thank, eaten, now I'm looking thank you, Melissa. Now I'm hungry. I was going to say the same I'm thing. Like, wait, now, uh, like, now I'm thinking of a, of a pre salad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know why I just thought of this, but you guys like walnuts? Yes. yes. Okay. Have you ever had walnut meat? Oh, oh we, make it under, yes. we make it we all make the time. time. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's one thing that I fell in love with that I didn't know about. Like, sometime in, I, I found out about it. And I was like, man, where has this Mom. been on my life? So I have a recipe on that, too, for people who are interested in walnut meat mm. and walnut ground tacos. You know, just it's, mm. ooh, it's just so good. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's let me, really let me good. Check this in. All right, so guys, do you have any questions? Any questions? And then we'll go put her Instagram so they can follow her. Oh, yeah, that's what I was about to type it in right now. Yeah. So, any questions at this time? Uh, any questions? Ask your questions now. Oh, I'm typing this. Once in. you know better, you do better. Hello, amen. It's choosing my health, right? Choosing, yes, this, choosing these, my health. Yep. And I also wanted to share with anyone who's interested in like hair health. Um, oh, yes. yeah. And anyone who's interested in hair health, because I know that's a lot for, you know, it doesn't have any biological effects to have hair loss. And that's something that I had. I had issues with my hair. Um, I remember my husband was, well, my boyfriend at the time, he was taking, we were taking some of my, some braids down and I had some braids and he's like, do you know that you have an empty patch in the back of your head that doesn't have any hair, really? And I was like, oh, I felt so embarrassed. And that's how bad my hair was, just patchy and breaking. And I've experienced hair loss. And the juicing helped bring my hair back to life. I feel like it was, I feel like it was a hair growth reset for me. And so... For anyone, right. uh, go. No, I'm, I'm gonna let you go. No, no, no. Go ahead. It's fine. No, was it like a specific juice or just juicing? Yes, I made specific juices for the hair. Got it. Okay, specific yeah. juices for the hair because we do know that there are certain vegetables that are supercharged with things that your hair like. For example, carrots. They're high in biotin. They. I don't know if they're high in biotin, but they have a good amount of biotin. Mm -hmm. um, yes. They also have beta carotene. Beta carotene is a precursor for vitamin A. And we know that vitamin A is excellent for your skin, your nails, um, all that good stuff, um, mm -hmm. and your hair. And then cucumber. Cucumber is high in silica. Silica is amazing for your hair. And then you have things like um, beets. And one of the, one of the biggest reasons for hair loss is iron deficiency. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> concocting, you know, recipes that help the hair specifically that target um, the hair and stimulate growth 
definitely made a huge difference for me. And then the more I've learned throughout the years, I've just, just been seeing gains and gains. So I just praise God with that. And someone asked me, they're like, like, can you coach us on this? Like, can you teach? And I've gotten, I've, I've gotten a lot of requests so far. So what I've decided to do, very similar to y'all, I've started to uh, teach people how to juice for their hair. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm very soon, I'll be running a healthy hair juice challenge. And in that mm. challenge, there will, it's going to be juice high, but there's also going to be some smoothie support um, right. because the protein, you know, for the hair is, and, and I've done all different types of juice fast, but this one would be more like a high juice challenge with smoothie support. Well, um, specifically for hair. Specifically for hair. Yeah. So I'm super excited about that. So if anyone's interested, you could go to healthyhairjuicechallenge.com and you can sign up healthyhairjuicechallenge.com. And then I'm also coming out um, with a hair care you, line. Can they find us on your Instagram as well? Healthy hair juice. Is it the link? In it will be there shortly. Um, but right now, just go to healthyhairjuicechallenge.com. Healthyhairjuicechallenge.com. Oh. And then we're rolling out some hair products under a hair care line that we're starting. And this is stuff that I've done in my kitchen. You know, my cousin, I'm like, hey, when you try this or whatever. And they're like, oh, this is good. You should like sell this. And I'm like, you know what? The whole spirit <laughs> has speak to me enough that I'm just going to launch out in faith. And I, I'm, 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 I'm trusting God for something new this season. So we're doing the two. Um, the products under our hair care line called Cressador and the Healthy Hair Juice Challenge. So keep us in your prayers. And if y'all are interested, you could visit healthyhairjuicechallenge.com. Yes, or... it's, right it's, it's right there. there. It's coming up on a screen. Yes. It's coming up in two seconds. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I see you. Woo. <laughs> and um, the hair products, you could learn about the hair products uh, through the Healthy Hair Juice Challenge as well. Or you could even visit Crescedor.com. So that's C-R-E-C-E-D-O-R.com, Crescedor. And they're all plant-based um, hair products. You said C-R-E? C-R-E-C-E-D-O-R. Crescedor. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to write that there too. Okay, so uh, the way that we end our lives always is with our children. We allow them to say goodnight because it's a reminder of what juicing has done for us. And plus, they were pretty good uh, during during this time. Well, they so, the kids. The kids. The kids. All right, y'all. Look, listen. Listen. If you got value out of this conversation... Let me see you type in the comment box, 10K. <laughs> Day nine, y'all. <laughs> type it in, type it in. Melissa, thank you so much. Melissa, I'm, thank you so much. This has been great. Oh, man, this has been amazing for me. I loved it. It's like loved every piece of it. It's like we're watching it. you on the screen, and then all of a sudden, we're interviewing you. This is amazing. I, I guess, <laughs> that's crazy. That's how God works this is right. say hi. Hello. John, say hello. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Come on. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Maverick. So also, yeah, we give our kids supplements too. We give them B12 uh, supplements. Uh, Mary Ruth's I vitamins. Know, yes. yes. Look at how healthy and big and luscious these children are. Let's, yeah. let's bring it back so we can see. And they drink the juice. Yes. Oh, I know. I know. Yes, but they drink Come the here, juice. Come here, son. Yeah. Oh, yes, girl. Yes. Come on, and the two-year-old is coming. That's good. Baby. Come on, Mavi. They're beautiful. Oh, so we have Maverick. Yep. Maverick, Phoenix, and Sean Jr. Uh, Phoenix and Sean Jr. Oh, hello. We talk about you, see? Okay. Hi. Hi. Right, so this is the family. We are a family. So guys, just a reminder that Juice and Literally, these are the products of of juicing and cleansing our lives. So it works. Mm. So it works. So guys, look, thank you for joining us again. Listen, guys, we are not breaking the cleanse until tomorrow, tomorrow night. Not tonight. Don't listen. Don't look at the clock now. Talking about, oh, it's almost 12. No, 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 no. No. Tomorrow night, we all going to break the cleanse together. Or some of you, like you said, you guys are probably going to continue. Here you go, Maverick. Um, you guys are probably going to continue. Either way, we got your back. 
This is the Jumping Juice 10,000. We are the Jumping Juice 10,000 community, so we got y'all back. All right. We will see y'all tomorrow at 8. See you tomorrow. Don't be late. Don't be late. Say goodnight, B. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Say what you there it is. <laughs> All right. Good night. Yes. Have a good night, guys. Good night. See you later, good Melissa. Good night. See ya. <laughs>